can't be Dan Kelly. It's that right. They're okay. not allowing any visitors, I've checked. No visitors? I'm sorry, Sophia. Maybe it's, it's better this way. Uh, you're not supposed to be up and around yet. That's why I try to keep the whole thing from you. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Why can't she have visitors? The judge has ordered some psychiatric testing. What kind of testing, Rick? Well, apparently she's had some kind of breakdown. Oh, no. Well, that's all the more reason I have to get to her right away. She's going to need me. Cece, I'll go to Cece and he'll make sure I can get to Sophia, there. maybe this is the perfect time to talk to Cece about your illness. Get it out in the open. Oh, no. Your friends and your family deserve to know. It's the worst time. It's absolutely impossible. I can't. They don't need my weakness now. They need me to be strong, particularly Kelly. Hello? How's the patient? Hi, Augusta. I brought you some of the flowers. Oh, aren't you just lovely? Thank you. Up and dressed up so soon. They're releasing me. Really? Really. Well, um, why don't we have lunch at the Orient Express or something? No, no, I couldn't. I'm sorry. I'd like to, but I can't. She's, uh, read the papers. Oh, so I have to get to Kelly as soon as possible. I understand. Well, if you, if you want to come by or something and talk or... Thank you very much. About noon or whatever. That's wonderful. Thank you. I've got to see the nurse yeah. now. Thank you. It's been very kind, but thank you for everything. I'll be right back. No problem. I guess I should thank you, too. I came as fast as I could. Well, where have you been? I've been calling your apartment for hours. You never even came home. Out of town. I was out of town, and when I read the newspapers this morning, I came back right away. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I just, this thing has got me on the ropes. You look very pale. Just tell me everything. Tell me what happened. Tell me how she is. <sighs> she would be fine if everybody would just leave her alone. I try to protect her, I try to keep away from the psychiatrist, but this judge... This judge thinks that our daughter is mentally incompetent, so she puts her in a hospital for testing. Cece, our girl has had one trauma after another in her life. You saw the stress she was under. Yes, I know that. Letting him move out didn't help much. I never should have done that. These head shrinkers get her now. Might make things even worse. They might make things better. They might help. She doesn't need that kind of help. I am sure that Dylan provoked the attack, if, in fact, it was even an attack. Self-defense isn't a crime. There's nothing wrong with, with Kelly. Of course it was self-defense. There is no doubt about it was self-defense. But she needs to talk to doctors, Cece. She needs to talk to the professionals. <laughs> Professionals. Professionals. They have a vested interest in deciding that the whole world needs treatment. That's what professionals do. See, see, there was a time in my life that without psychiatric help, I might not have saved my sanity. I had no touch with my emotions. I could have been an empty shell. Can you want that for Kelly? All I want is my daughter to be home, to be under this roof so I can watch over her. I want all of my family here. I don't want them running off in different directions. I want my children here. I want my... I have to go now. Please, please let me know as soon as we can see her, will you? Yes, of course I will. Right. Sophia, when we're able to see her, I would like you to come with me. I think Kelly would feel good seeing us together. So do I. I think it's a good idea. The sooner the better. Oh. What, what, what is it? What is it? Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just a little faint. It's everything with Kelly. Oh, I'll walk you to the car. Thank you. You're a little faint. I'll be all right. Really? You really should get your room in bed. I'm going. I'm going to call a cab. Heaven's sake, you are stubborn as contrary as I am here. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment from you. How are you feeling? I mean, inside. Are you afraid? I know I should be very glad, Augusta, that it's as minor as it was. I didn't lose my breast. I'm still alive, but I keep asking myself, well, why me? Why did it happen to me? I understand that. 
Oh, no. The question I should be asking myself is why shouldn't it happen to me? Why should I be exempt from what might happen to anyone else in the world? You probably think I'm very weak. Not at all. As a matter of fact, I haven't told you this, but I have a lot of respect for your strength. My strength? Yes, you've been on your own for a long time. I'm sort of facing the same thing and must be very frightening. To, I don't know. I guess I'm sorry. You are a very strong woman, and don't you dare forget it. You've helped me through this. I think I'd better get you home. Want a lift? No, I'm going to take a cab. Thank you. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks a lot. Nice. Uh, hello there. Hello, oh, wait, goodbye. Wait, wait. I'm not so soon. I'd like to know something. What's wrong with Sophia? Nothing. Why? Come on, come on. A minute ago, she looked as if she was going to faint. Sophia, I want you to tell me something. What's wrong? 